monstrous book on the loose in there. I hope you've come to help. You'll earn a collector's card each time you defeat all the pages. There are five cards in all. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Good luck. I I'd stay and help, but uh, I I'm late. Yes, uh, very late indeed. Wait, if this leather-bound toilet paper only comes out when a triple depulso is cast, why does it attack everyone else unprovoked? Just leave it alone and you won't have any problems. Really? It looks like six pages at once. All we have to do is each cast at two of them. That's hardly overwhelming. Look, this is literally taking us mere seconds to defeat right now. That prefect said we could win all five cards in the set if we could beat that thing for good. Good thing each card doesn't come with a chocolate frog bundled with it, or you'd probably get sick trying to eat them all, or you'd have to leave them lying around on the ground where you found them. Although, when completing a challenge when you've got to defeat shit, you get multiple frogs per card anyways. Although you don't get a frog with each card you see lying around on the grounds or in lessons. Although you probably get more frogs in a lesson than cards. You know what? Never mind. I bet I've had more frogs so far in this game than cards that I've collected. Didn't I get, like, 17 during the main Carpe Retractum challenge? I think I counted for that particular episode. I'm not gonna count how many I got through all the episodes, though. That'd be crazy, but still. What did I just tell you, Hermione? Although now that I'm looking at it, every time we destroy one page, it releases another to replace it. So it's like we're fighting a steady stream of enemies rather than a whole successor group all at once. Also, unlike the Pixies, I seem to be the only one taking damage during these fights rather than being the only one unscathed. Ron, I do believe your casting has improved. Okay, well, that's nice of you to say that. We were outnumbered the first time, too, you know. Damn it. Oh, shit! I got hit like three times in a row! It takes about a second to aim and cast, so if a line of pages, even if it's only two of them, comes charging at you, that second one will always hit you even if you successfully destroy the first one. Physically charging at you is also a difference between these Monster Book of Monsters pages and the Pixies. They also differ from actual flying books, which are just an army of books as opposed to one book sending out an army of pages. Dang, I keep getting knocked back. That last one actually was clever enough to flank me while I was aiming at a different page in front of me. And there's one more fight, too. I can't believe I'm actually needing chocolate frogs for once. Shut the fuck up, Harry. They know what to do. Oh boy, here come these cocksuckers, though. Actually, that's not a pleasant feeling to imagine. Who would want paper cuts on their dick? Especially when an erection is fueled by increased blood flow. You bleed all over the pages. I don't know why, but some of the pages just fly over and behind you. I guess they just disappear afterwards? I don't know. Look how badly I'm getting hurt. Why am I finding this much more challenging than anything else in this game? Oh my god, I might fucking die. But I'm so close to winning. Come on. Fucking do it. Oh. Thank God. I nearly died in this final battle. So much for the monster book of monsters. It's a bit sad, really. Seems like we should have tried to tame it. Hermione! See, I find that kind of dialogue to be funny, just to show how differently they might think about a situation and how each one may react to it. Especially if they're flabbergasted by each other's thought process. I wish there was more dialogue like... For fuck's sake, Ron, you can't figure out which side of the gate to walk on to exit the room? Okay, there you go. You figured it out. Fucker. Jeez, John. Okay, what the fuck else is there for me to do other than replay the lessons to get a few cards that I missed? I'll take care of that later. I'm sure I've checked and double-checked Fred and George's shop, but I just feel compulsively the need to triple-check just to be sure. And I still don't understand what some of those suits of armor are supposed to do. Hi, Fred. Hi, George. 
I don't see anything immediately obvious other than the secret card that I can't get yet anyways. I forget what the bonus cards are or where they come from. You know, if the Monster Book of Monsters and the Pixies were such a problem, why not just call a teacher so that they can take care of it instead of relying on third-year students just volunteering to help? Isn't that part of their job? To protect students from shit like that? Hermione! Get out of there! You're not supposed to be behind the counter with them! On the other hand, let's run! Why are you fucking running around like that? Holy shit! But yeah, I can step on the display stands here, but can't go behind the counter myself. Well, I can sort of push Hermione back in, too. Nice. If I run away, she leaps around wildly trying to get out. Yeah, I guess there never was anything you could do in this dorm area. Shame, though. Could have been cool, interesting, whatever. Uh, mm, I just remembered something. I can do a running jump down the stairs. I forget what happens, though. Uh, okay, sure. Well, I can push Ron up, but I can't make the stairs carry him away on his own. That is just so weird. But it's necessary for the game to fix your mistake like that, I suppose. Get up there, Ron. Well, I actually got him pretty far up that time, uh, before Harry automatically stepped up, too. Alright, enough procrastinating. I better go and redo the lessons.